Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have a new release of Unity. Unity 6.2 is now available. Now this was actually a little bit over a day ago. I'm sort of late uncovering this one for two reasons. First off, I'm on vacation, uh, that's why I sound a little bit weird. And then on top of that, uh, let's go over to the Unity blog and take a look here. So you're gonna see here, they did a post about the Unity 6.1 release. We scroll on down under the latest post, we'll also see that they did a post about the Unity 6.2 beta. Uh, but it's been a couple of days and there is nothing about the Unity 6.2 release. So I think I'm somewhat excused for missing the announcement here just because, well, they didn't really make one, at least not a major public facing one. So that's why I'm a little bit late on covering this one, my apologies. So what exactly can we expect in Unity 6? Well, the headline feature is probably going to disappoint some people, that's for certain, and that is Unity AI. AI. On top of that, we've got a number of other features here as well. Uh, again, so the highlight features are AI, LODs, Graph Toolkit, World Space UI for UI Toolkit, and we're going to focus on a couple of them in this video. Now, uh, Unity AI, I actually did a dedicated video on that. We'll get back to that in just a minute. Uh, and Unity AI, the initial stuff when it was still called Muse, and Centris and all these other things, uh, it was, in my opinion, very underwhelming. It wasn't very Udini centric in its approach. It was just basically another Gen I service in some ways. Now they're taking a much different approach with Udini AI, and I'm actually more uh, excited by it than I ever was before. So we'll get back to the Unity AI stuff in just a second. But the key thing I want to point out here is this paragraph right here. So all users who install Unity AI uh, get free unlimited Unity points during the beta. Uh, the points will expire when the Unity AI transitions to a paid model in the future. By the way, we don't know what it's going to cost and we don't know when in the future is. Uh, in the meantime, we would love your feedback. So if you wanted to go ahead and check out Unity AI, now is the time to do it because quite frankly, you could do it completely for free. Uh, so there's points, but you, you basically get unlimited. You don't pay for them, which is quite nice. Uh, so if you want to check out Unity AI, now is the time. On top of that, we've got some improvements for uh, the XR stuff. Uh, so hand mesh functionality, you can now visualize hand meshes and utilize them for occlusion. Uh, dynamic refresh rates are supported and visibility, visibility mesh occlusion uh, is now supported in ERP, it looks like right there. Uh, also the graph toolkit was added, we'll get back to that one in just a second. Uh, mesh LODs can be generated automatically on import to reduce iteration time. Like they said, they've got the World Space UI for UI Toolkit. It's now available to render UIs directly in World Space. That's, again, mostly for uh, XR. So if you needed to do your, um, your user interface in a 3D world, superimposed or transposed on your world, that's what that is all about. We also have the uh, developer data framework. Um, reflects our commitment to providing developers with transparency and control over their data usage within the Unity ecosystem. Basically, this is the approvals and, and showcase so you can see what data uh, Unity are using, kind of privacy controls, that kind of stuff. And on top of that, we've got a number of diagnostics tools available as well. So that's the highlights of Unity 6.2. Now, this is considered a supported release, which means it receives the same level of support as a long-term support release. Uh, including bug fixes and critical platforms, but only until the next release is published. So an LTS is for a duration in time. This will get support until 6.3 comes along, but you should be safe to use it. So being able to confidently upgrade to the latest update means you can always keep your production uh, productions on the most current release without sacrificing stability or performance. I know a lot of people using Unity for games, they're stuck on an ancient version and Unity are being more proactive about forward support, which is a good thing in my humble opinion. All right. So Unity AI, what do we got going on here? Well, again, it used to be called Muse and Centis. It is now sort of all merged together. But you can notice here, let's let's go through here and take a look at what they're, they're showcasing. And you're going to notice no like texture generation or sprite generation, no gen AI for the most part at all. Instead, they're talking about things like uh, auditing your assets, get quick focused help with your game objects, scripts, prefabs, and more. Just drop them into the assistant without having to spell out every detail. Uh, you can locate, modify, and organize in bulk. Uh, so you can see changing lights uh, using an AI script. So run, set the intensity of all lights with the fog light tag. And I've worked with this stuff and it's actually really kind of cool. Uh, then we got debug console errors. So you have it explain errors out to you. Uh, you also have it for helping you learn, so you can ask questions and have it deal with you there. Uh, quick setup of scenes, so you can say it to place objects in your scenes using a uh, just a generated script. So you can see here, pick an object, pick the objects you wish to do, and then create a new scene with default outdoor lighting and randomly distribute the attached prefabs to simulate a forest. This is the stuff that uh, when I covered, someone did chat GPT integration for AI, like in Unity, like 
three years ago, and I was so excited by it. Uh, this is what I wanted. This is the, the kind of things that I want to see. And then here, this is the extent of their uh, Gen AI now. And now they're talking, they're no longer talking about replacing the artist. And now they're talking and using verbiage like placeholder. And I think this is going to be uh, much more friendly to the community. People are going to uh, enjoy this kind of approach better. At least I think so. So this is, the, this is where 90% of what they talked about with Unity AI before was this kind of stuff. Generate sprites, textures, animations, and sounds directly inside of Unity. Now it is a single paragraph and fairly far down. Uh, and then we also got CodeGen uh, here as well. And yeah, so that is it. Unity now is looking at AI as a way to supplement the Unity tooling environment, to make uh, developers' lives quicker, to, to automate processes. And this, in my humble opinion, is what it should have always been. So I went from being a uh, Unity AI skeptic. It felt like a, a cheap implementation of like ChatGPT, to be honest, a, a badly hacked version, to now something that is integrated and integral to Unity and not... Um, something that is hostile to artists that are out there. So I really like the approach that they've taken. Uh, I would also love to see this not be a commercial project and just be included in like Unity Pro. This would be an awesome feature for making Pro stand out. But I'd be interested to see what the final pricing is on this. But they're they're covering they're covering the stuff that I want to see them cover, and they're focusing on it again. I find it very interesting that the Gen AI stuff has been moved down to like point number five, and it's be worded as placeholder assets instead of, you know, game ready assets. And let's be honest, most of the times the stuff that it generates isn't game ready anyways, but it's perfect for placeholders. So I like the approach they've taken there. If you want to learn more, I did a hands on with Unity AI called Unity AI, is it fire or a tire fire, uh, which that was when uh, the Unity 6.2 beta first dropped. There might have been some small improvements since then, but it'll give you an idea of what you can expect from Unity AI. And again, I went from uh, being very, very skeptical to being somewhat optimistic on Unity AI, but I'm curious what your opinions are here as well. Uh, and then we also again have the Unity Graph Toolkit in this release. Now this is for, well, generating graphs. These are kind of common tools that you need to use. They use them themselves for a number of things like the Shader Toolkit. Uh, so it allows you to create visual customized graph tools. It is a powerful addition for anyone who needs to simplify complex systems, optimize production pipelines, or empower non-coders to add or edit content in a visual and intuitive way. So it is a toolkit for creating graphs uh, and it is now available. I do believe it is flagged as I don't know that it's a release. No, it's still considered an experimental at this point in time. Uh, so that's definitely something you want to be aware of. But I do believe they are also using it for stuff internally quite a bit. So this one is probably going to come to fruition. So that is another aspect of the 6.2 release. Uh, and then again, that you have the ability to generate LODs on asset input. LODs being levels of detail. So it's different versions of your model and different resolutions. Depending on the distance from your camera, you can have a big performance optimization. Or as things get close, you can show the higher detailed version. It will now automatically generate these LODs on input uh, details of them are available here in the documentation, but that is a Unity 6.2 feature as well. And then there are the full release notes, no summary blog, but basically all of the the documentation, etc. I will have this linked in the linked article down below. If you want to go fully in depth with all of the features in Unity 6.2. Again, the marquee feature here being Unity AI, but I like the direction they're going with it. But I'm curious, what do you think? What do you think of Unity 6.2? Let me know, comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.